She's the co-founder and CEO of the WE Network, an annual women's conference dedicated to cultivating and empowering the new generation of female leaders. And over the years, her WE Symposium has attracted everyone from Nancy Pelosi to Queen Rania, Melinda Gates, designer Donna Karen, and the late, great Nora Ephron. Well, now Dee Poku is here, and she's taking her leadership show on the road. The WE Symposium will be held in South Africa in early May. Mm -hmm. And here to tell us all about the importance of empowering females from around the globe is Miss Dee Poku. Welcome to Hello. Arise Entertainment Hello. 360. Hello. So great to be here. Don't you love this background? This is amazing. I need to meet your graphic designer because I want to copy that. Okay. Exactly. We can make that, we can make that happen. The WE Network Conference, right? <laughs> yeah. Exactly. So let's talk about the WE Conference. Okay. Let's talk about why you're taking it to South Africa, mm -hmm. the importance of empowering females in particular. Sure. So it's incredibly exciting to take this conference to Africa. So I'm of African origin. I grew up in um, London and I live in the US, so I'm a global citizen, but you know, my, my roots are in Africa and um, in Ghana in particular. But I feel that there's a tired old stereotype about the African woman that just needed to be addressed. Mm -hmm. You know, you're um, of African origin as well, and you're fabulous, and you're exec producing your own show, and thank you, you know, dear. and <laughs> <laughs> and there are lots of women like you who are running countries, who are members of parliament, who are um, starting um, amazing businesses, who are tech entrepreneurs. You know, th this is these are the sort of next generation of, of of African female leaders, and so what I wanted to see was sort of to shine a light on, on those women and, and sort of less of the old stereotypes of the disenfranchised, you know, rural woman waiting for handouts. And, you know, Africa has its social issues, of course, we acknowledge course, that. Yes. Mm -hmm. But we need to present a more multidimensional view of our continent. And so this is one way of sort of readdressing that problem and saying, look at, you know, this fabulous array of incredible women who are achieving and taking Africa forward and you know they'll all be at We Africa on the 5th of May which is very right. soon. Mm -hmm, definitely and you know you've been motivated so many people and you've launched this We Network several years ago but mm -hmm. I guess what was the impetus behind it and why do you make sure it's better and better and better every year? So I would say that I mean there are lots of statistics mm -hmm. um, but we need to see more women in leadership positions. So in the US, for example, only 4% of Fortune 500 companies have women as CEOs. Mm. And that's just a really sad number. And so the number of women in leadership positions just has stayed pretty static mm -hmm. over the last sort of 30, 40 years. So something's not working. Women are graduating college in, in sort of larger and larger numbers. Um, there are more and more women who are getting MBAs, and certainly, you know, half the workforce at entry level are women. And then something happens in the middle. Mm. Um, and so, when you get to the C-suite, when you get to the, to the very top, you know, the women fall off, and we only, mm. we're only seeing men at the top. So, we launched the WE Conference to help support the next generation of women leaders and to give them the tools to succeed, and to to connect them to women who'd gone before them who could share advice and inspiration and help them get to where they wanted to be. So that was really the, the goal of, of, of the WE Symposium. Mm -hmm. And I would say that I'm someone who has benefited from incredible mentors and you know, who've inspired me along the way. And so you know, I wanted to give that back. And that's really the, you know, the reason behind mm. WE. Well, you also have an impressive list of people that are helping you do this. You know, Lola mentioned a lot of them earlier. So can you give us a little tidbit on who are some of the big names we can expect to be at this year's symposium? So I am incredibly excited about Grasa Michelle, yeah. who is, you know, an icon. She's the wife of mm -hmm. Nelson Mandela, as you know. Um, she's an incredible humanitarian um, who uh, supports a number of, of different causes. Mm -hmm. So she's our keynote speaker. We have some really amazing entrepreneurs. So we have um, the Nigerian designer um, of Tiffany Amber, um, uh, Falaki. Um, I'm blanking on her name now, but who is also speaking, and she okay. um, founded that company a few years ago, and it sort of revolutionized the fashion industry in Nigeria. Um, we have Elsie Kanza, who is the head of the World Economic Forum Africa, which is, you know, really astounding. Yeah, astounding. Mm -hmm. So, you know, we have a, an incredible array of amazing, amazing women who are And speaking. walk us through what exactly will happen at this symposium speeches you've mentioned, but also um, what, committee meetings, things of that nature? So, um, so the conference is over a couple of days and we have um, panel discussions and, and uh, keynote speakers and workshops and we cover 
a range of subjects. So we're not just about business and we're not just about um, fashion or just about you know one area. So whatever industry you're in, there's something for you. So business, uh, you know, politics, bus fashion, yes. entrepreneurship, entertainment. The entire gamut. The entire gamut. Look at and you, Miss Deep Poker. I know, all of it. I have to do it all. So it's just, you know, it's really about, you know, what are the topics that women want to know about? What are the hot button issues that we should address? And those are the topics that we cover at WE. So mm. let's say the fashion panel, which is being moderated by... Yours truly. By all right. Miss Lola Real. Uh, thrilled. Thank you. Um, so in that panel, we're talking about... One is, you know, about how African fashion has really... Um, inspired designers globally, so the influence that Afri African fashion is having all over the world. Mm -hmm. But also we want to talk about why um, designers, international designers, aren't making clothes in Africa. Mm. So um, they're inspired by the continent, but they're not sort of bringing that commerce back onto the continent. So we really want to talk about that issue. Um, but we also have you know, a panel um, that Toya and Siraki, who we're partnered with, with her Wellbeing Foundation yes. for mm -hmm. this conference, and she's another fabulous speaker. She has a panel um, that's addressing the, the, the Millennium Development Goals and where we're at on that issue, um, particularly innovations in health and education. So you name it. Now, it sounds like you're very busy with all this, and I don't want you to stop, but I have to ask, <laughs> yes. before all your philanthropic work, yes. you were very involved in the, in the film industry. You've overseen the films such as, I have to get this right, No Country for Old Men, Lost in Translation, Brokeback Mountain. These are huge films, you know, Academy Award winning features. So why did you decide to get out of that world and come to this new? And, and you, uh, you oversaw yes. the marketing of That's all these films. Correct, mm -hmm. exactly. Um, I needed to have a life. Well, <laughs> um, it does seem like it was a busy <laughs> life for you. Yes, I mean, you know, I worked, I was working mm -hmm. um, for Paramount, it was my last sort of job, which was out in LA. Mm. And um, I worked on some incredible films. And, and one of the last ones I'm so proud of was Al Gore's An Inconvenient Truth, which Good. is mm. you know, yes. amazing, all about the climate change movement that really made a difference and really brought that issue to the world's attention. Um, but it just got to a point where I was thinking about my future and, you know, what did I want to contribute to the world and where was I going next? Mm. And this is incredibly fulfilling for me intellectually, you know, from a creative sense. And I'm giving back, so, mm. um, so it pushes every button. So it's, you know, incredibly exciting. Deep Poku, thank you so much mm. for being here. I'll my see you pleasure. in Cape Town. Absolutely. Right. Yeah. I know, we have to get our dresses. We have to get our dresses. <laughs> <laughs> women. That's just as important. They all <laughs> It. We can do fashion, we can be intellectual, but oh, we can yes. also be time. chic as well. Of course, we must. Well, Love thank it. you so much for being <laughs> thank here. You very and much. I'll see you soon. Sure. All right. All right. And you're watching Arise Entertainment 360.